DDT, Parathian, Malathian, Barbital, 250 milligrams. Mitriptyline, yeah. 350 milligrams. Legal line, Uh, female of approximately 25 years of age, visible lacerations and hematomas around the neck. Cause of death, probably due to set injuries. say strangulation by rope or ribbon.
Jesus! What the fuck? I'm sorry. Where am I? What is this place? Did you drug me or something? No, no. Th this is a morgue. A morgue? What are you saying? That I'm dead? I am not dead. I am very much alive, actually. Wait a second. Were you? I'm a forensic student. Your body came in this morning. I was supposed to practice doing an autopsy. Autopsy? Does eating my pussy count as an autopsy? Because last time I checked, you were between my legs. N no. I, I mean, yes. No. I'm sorry. So let me get this straight. I was dead, and you decided to take advantage of me. Is that correct? Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I, I saw you and... Are you gonna sue me? I probably won't. I mean, you did save my life by eating me out, you know? Yes. You know? Yes. It, it's, 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 uh, it's called autoerotic resuscitation. Is that a thing? Yes. Uh, a professor always told us stories about it. Uh, like Sleeping Beauty, you know? Sleeping Beauty got a kiss on her lips, not a tongue in her cooch. Well, true, but it's for kids. They make it age appropriate. Have you done this before? No. This is my first time. I always come down here to see the naked corpses. I'm a bit em embarrassed about that, but... I mean... Even though they're dead, it's weird. The body rots, it loses color, it gets eaten by worms. Oh, a forensic student? Fennel barbitual, 10 grams. Amy Triptyline. What is this? It's a... Uh... A list of substances that can kill a person. Is it yours? Yes. Couldn't bring yourself to do it, huh? Because you were brave enough, right? I didn't try to kill myself, actually. I'm not crazy. Then explain the bruises. <laughs> First. Tell me why you wanted to commit suicide. How, how am I supposed to explain to my girlfriend that that I'm attracted to a... This still counts as cheating, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. If that's what you're afraid of, go see a psychologist. There's no reason to go kill yourself, you fucking pussy. Why are men such fucking pussies? I'm a pussy. You are what you eat. <sighs> Although... I do think having sex with only one person goes against human nature. What about couples that last forever? They accept sleeping with other people. What about the ones that don't? <laughs> they lie, I suppose. I mean, monogamy is a pretty nice concept, but it doesn't work in the real world. Oof. Well, what about the ones that don't lie? They satisfy their sexual desires virtually, or worse. Sometimes they don't satisfy their desires at all and end up like psychopaths, more or less like you. It was just once, a, 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 a couple of times. I don't think it's the number of times that actually matters. This wasn't even sex. Oh my God, do you hear yourself? I mean, isn't it painfully obvious that you're trying to fill some sort of void? Hmm. Or are you one of those people who actually believe that one person can complete them and get everything they ever wanted? Isn't that what love is all about? <laughs> Fuck love. Who said anything about love? Look, 
Let me break it down for you. You have one person solely for fucking. One person to have cocktails with. Another to have long walks on the beach. Another to have gentle, passionate sex with. And one more to have conversations with. And the last one, the most important one, is the one who comes home and watches the kids and Netflix with you. Everybody knows this. That's how I do it. But how do you make it work? <laughs> the, this, this quintuple life of yours. I lie, darling. Everybody does. But it's not my fault, really. Society made me this way. So how did you get that? <laughs> Hypoxophilia. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh, good. You've heard of it. Yeah, I was masturbating with a scarf tied around my neck. You almost died choking yourself, rubbing one out, and you're judging me? I'm not the necrophiliac who enjoys a taste of labia with a side of rigor mortis. So yes, actually, I am. Besides, you shouldn't knock it until you try it. The lack of oxygen increases the intensity of the orgasm. It's like having 10 orgasms at once. <laughs> Usually, I put a lemon wedge in my mouth in case I pass out, but alas, this time I forgot to do it because I ran out of lemons making my breakfast smoothie. Why didn't you do it with somebody? For safety? Seems irresponsible to me. There was nobody around. Hence, while I was masturbating, my guys were busy. But... Now I have someone. Uh, I don't think this is the time. <laughs> Of course it is. I'm alive. You're alive. How much things have changed since five minutes ago. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't. Oh, look, I'm no longer rotting flesh. There's blood popping through my body. Yes, you can. I'm alive, baby. I mean, don't you want to try? I... <laughs> this will be the best sex you've ever had. <sighs> Just let yourself go. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> 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 Enjoy your post-mortem erection, darling. How's it going? Hey. Hey, sexy.